Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, Sainsbury's have challenged us to chop three ways. Seeing as I am already blonde, I'm doing a blondie. I'm doing a chocolate and pecan coffee tart. Because we all a know tart. I love a good tart. We love the tart. Everybody loves a good tart. Um, and after that, together, we're going to be doing a pistachio and cranberry fridge cake bar brownie thing that looks amazing. First of all, I'm going to get my pan on the heat. I'm going to add my cream and my sugar. Now it's time to put the chocolate. I'm just going to break this up into really small pieces and I'm probably going to cut it a little bit as well to make it really fine so that it melts really easy because the secret is you've got to melt it quick. You can eat the chocolate, that's fine. So now, I think that's chopping up. My beautiful assistant has finished bringing my milk and sugar to the boil. I'm now going to add this in. We're trying to get this so it all sticks together. So leave it for about a minute to just soften. Then we'll start to mix everything else back in. I would have stirred it. Cream, sugar and chocolate, that sounds like a winning combination. <laughs> Do you know what else is about to come into this? Coffee. A bit of coffee. In I put two tablespoons of coffee, and now I stir the rest together. That's been nearly done. So now I'm going to get my all-butter pastry tartlets out. Ready for oh, that? your tartlets. Now, I've got six of these, and I'm now going to get the chocolate, pour them into a nice even level across them all, and then I'm going to add some pecan nuts at the end of it. It's right. pretty uh, simple, so. Nice work, they look mighty fine. You get one little peak of nut, and you put it on top, and then it just goes in the fridge for two hours, or if you can leave it overnight, even better. So, I've already lined my baking tray because I'm super organised, and I am going to put in the sugar and the butter. And then I'm going to use my electric hand whisk to mix it all up. I am going to put in two eggs and then I'm going to crack them and mix them in with the mixer. So add the next one. Yeah. So next we're going to pop in two tablespoons of vanilla extract. That's a lot of vanilla. It's a lot of vanilla, it's good though, it's really tasty. And then I'm adding the flour, the baking powder and the salt. So I'm adding all of the flour in and I'm going to fold that to here. And Mike, if you could put two teaspoons of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. I didn't realise you put salt in blondies. Mix it up. You're obviously too sweet, you blondies. And then I'm going to put in the coconut, 50 grams of this. I really like macadamia nuts, so I'm going to put all of them in. You can chop them if you like, but these are already hard. But I prefer big chunks, so I'm going to put all of those in. And then the best part, I'm going to put the white chocolate in. So I'm just going to squish it in the foil so it's not so messy and crumble it in. <sighs> I thought this was supposed to be a quick recipe. It is quick. This looks way better than yours. Way better. And mine goes in the oven for 20 minutes. So 10 minutes, then rotate them, and then another 10 minutes. Okay, so we're on to the third and final chocolatey delight. Mike, See. you're gonna do the wet stuff. Yeah. So dark chocolate, butter, and golden syrup melted in there. I'm gonna bash up some biscuits. Don't want to pulverise these either because you still want like a nice chunky bit. Right, so in goes the chocolate, then we put the butter, and then the syrup. Ooh. And then I'm going to leave this to melt for about a couple of minutes. And then once it's all melted, I'm going to stir it in for another for sort of minute, minute and a half until it goes nice and smooth. Okay, so once these are all bashed up, I'm going to pop in the cranberries the pistachios. So I've left this to melt for a couple of minutes and now it's time to mix it all together. I'll stir for probably another about a minute. Dun, 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 dun. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah, boys. Looks almost like Rice Krispie cake. I think it's very similar. Yeah. Here we go. That looks brilliant. Let's put it in the fridge.
I think they look amazing. They all look really good, actually. I'm most excited to try the blondies. Oh, although... I'll just save them to last then. So they okay, let's save them to last. Let's try this first. We can share one, I think, because okay. otherwise it might get a bit of a sweet tooth by the end of it. That's interesting. It's almost like a chocolate bar. It's quite good, though. You know what? I think I prefer if it was with light cho milk chocolate, though. Mm. Nuts really nice. I'm not a big fan of fruit and nut though. So it's quite. So. Mike doesn't like any fruit. Mm. On to Mike's tarts. Mmm. A ripe chocolate fondant. That's oh, good. Mmm. Finally, the blondies. Now these are looking a little bit more gooey than perhaps they're meant to, but I really, really like that like doughy texture, so yeah. I am excited for these. Oh my god, that's so good. It's literally like so soft. Empty. Yeah. Mm. That is so good. Wow. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to know how to recreate any of these three sweet treats, we'll put the links to the recipes in the info bar below. And if you want to check out some of our other baking recipes, my personal favourite is the scones. They were really good. Um, then make sure you go and check those out. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to see a brand new video every single Wednesday. See you next week, guys. Bye. Goodbye.